Okay, I'm back for game turn 41, which is midday on March 3rd. Uh, hopefully this video won't be as long as last video because I spent basically half of the last video arguing with myself over what I was going to do about the meat grinder. Um, okay, so uh, we are advancing. We've gone ahead and gone in on the black positions. Uh, I'm going to get my butt handed to me there, but hopefully I will have enough strength remaining uh, to at least move in, start hitting those positions, and then start barraging them so I can get rid of the forts. Um, and then eventually, once I take this, or maybe even before I take it, I'm going to have to pull fifth off, bring third in to clean up and start moving across here. I don't know. We'll see. All I know is I'm not going to be able to uh, do many replacement points in the morning for fifth uh, for fifth division, but it's the afternoon turn, so that's a couple of turns off. So the first thing that happens here, we have no uh, amphibious landings, we have no HQ phase, so we go straight to uh, the event phase, and we have Japanese reinforcements. Sweet and. Just again to remind myself, uh, add a Japanese unit to the nearest vacant position adjacent to a U.S. unit. It does not say to add depth. Uh, so, anything that's next to me. These are not in communication, so those don't count. It's going to have to be something on the front line. Maybe this one? That's three away, that's three away, these are too far away, that one is three away, that one's two away, so maybe this one, um, these are all too far away. So yeah, it's going to be K1, because we go, the tiebreaker is the lowest position number, so K1 beats M5, and so that's where our <coughs> unit will go. That's okay, because it's not going to immediately fire on us. Uh, we've got time to move into it. So the, the quicker I get these replacements on the board in places that don't hurt me, uh, the less likely it's going to be later on when things happen where they could hurt me that there's going to be any replacements left for me to put on the board, if that makes sense. So I don't mind that. I don't mind him coming out, uh, as long as blue doesn't have any kind of ambush or something when, when the fire card comes up. So let's see, here's the fire card. Uh, we got yellow, R, uh, purple tank, Ooh, that could hurt. Uh, and then, oh, we got tank and uh, hero, or HQ. So not a whole lot of letter actions, but uh, things that can get hit that maybe couldn't get hit uh, before. So let's see how that plays out. I'll put it up here so it can be seen. And so yellow R, we've got resupply in an occupied position, place a depth marker and fire. Uh, all right, this yellow position is disrupted, so he just loses his disruption. Uh, those aren't yellow, those are brown. Any yellow? No, okay, so it's just that one. All right, uh, and there's no other yellows that are occupied that would do the redeploy, right? There's no yellow positions that are occupied, no. And then reinforce, place a reserve with a depth marker that's uh, in communication, U.S. units within three hexes. So this one's too far away to get a redeploy. I don't even know if that can be seen on camera. Yeah, it can. Uh, there are no other yellow positions within three. Okay, so that lettered action didn't, didn't hurt at all. Um, and that's really, I mean, as we're getting down to the end of the board here, there's very few positions that either are occupied or can get occupied. And so we're seeing far less of that, I think. All right, so purple uh, tank. Um, this guy is too far away, nothing in his field of fire. Um, this guy will become undisrupted. And that's it. I'm going to have to do the black fire, but since there's not a black action on the card, uh, I'll go ahead and do that last because this is what's going to hurt the most. Uh, and then, okay, green. Again, I don't know that I have any greens. I've 
took that. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Just the black position is going to do any sort of damage. So uh, let's go ahead and figure that out. I'm going to take seven hits, right? Because again, the max from a stack is three, which I found out. Um, I did wrong at Suribachi, or again, I can't remember. I said in the last video that I'm reviewing the rules for decision games. And there's some proposed rule changes in addition to rule clarifications. And so one of them is that a stack can't fire more than uh, three. So if this was a um, full stack of six, the most uh, hits it can get is three. Uh, I didn't do that at Siribachi, but I'm going to do that here. The only thing that benefits me is here, I get one fewer hit from this position here. So it's three, three, and one. So there's seven black positions that are going to hit. All right. So first are going to be the ones that are closest to. All right. So it's this guy. And I'm going to bring my step markers, step loss markers over to the other side of the table where it's easier for me to grab. Uh, this guy and this guy, so that's two. I suppose I should bring my disruption markers over too. Uh, that's the unfortunate thing about it. I should have thought about that as far as the headquarters. I should have left the headquarters back, but it's too late now. Um, they are hit, they are disrupted. So that's two. If there's any way I can leave these guys unhit. I will. I mean, I gotta get someone in here, and I gotta hope that they are okay. All right. So I'm definitely I'm gonna hit these guys because my NCO can undisrupt them. So that's four. So actually, that headquarters might not get hit. So let me let me backtrack on the headquarters because you take the ones with the most steps first. So that's three. This guy, my hero, that's four. Or my, my deceased hero. Um, all right, that's five right there. No, I'm doing these on the wrong. No, I got that right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to leave these guys as well as much as possible. So, oh wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I didn't put a disruption here because I can undisrupt them. Oops, I flipped that guy. So I'm just not going to even disrupt them because they're going to go. Uh, my NCO will undisrupt them at the end of the. Uh, they can undisrupt at any phase, so they're going to undisrupt at the end of the Japanese fire phase. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I'm going to have to hit these guys six, seven, and then okay. Well, oh, six, seven. Yeah, that's it. Okay, six, seven disrupted. So these guys being one away, they remain unhit. So they can run in here. They're gonna get hit next time, but I don't know. I don't know. Scared to death. Alright, so this guy remains unhit. These guys are hit, but they're undisrupted. And so they can attack this position. Alright, so that's the Japanese fire phase. Okay, second event phase, uh, Japanese reinforcements, cool. Okay, I wonder, if the, these seem to be stacked up from the 19th to the 20th, 25th, and 5th. Those seems to be the only four days that are there. So, the 5th, I got a couple of days before I start seeing some different, because like this one, Japanese flea, I have no idea what that is. Uh, sounds good. Uh, anyway, Japanese reinforcements. So, remember how on the first event I debated which one was going to go where? Well, no, this one's just going to come to M5. I've already figured that out. So, I've got one lone reinforcement left in all of, all of Iwo Jima. So, 
Uh, I like that. I, I can't wait till I get to the point where stuff isn't coming out. That's going to be very handy if I can keep that up as we get to the uh, hilltops, <clears throat> as they get fortifications. Um, you know, these guys that are already here will get depth markers, but <clears throat> uh, the forts, the double forts won't get additional. So, all right, so uh, it is U.S. action phase. So here we go. Let's do this. Move these two counter things over there. All right, and let's come back up here, and we'll take care of these guys first. These guys were going to be easy. Um because they're not going to retreat because I moved my officer in place so uh, this guy takes browning and mortar I've got that from all these guys it's halved or doubled or whatever so I need 9, I need 18 strength so that's 17 right there I think we're just going to go ahead we're going to use 17 from here and I'm just going to use a point of artillery to get the 18 and that'll, that'll kill that guy he cannot retreat so he's gone Okay, uh, mark off a point of what is it, the 4th Division Artillery, that's fine, I haven't used any yet, I didn't use any in the AM phase, so I've got a lot of artillery I can use. Alright, and then we'll hit this guy, this guy's disrupted, so again I need double and I need flanking, so that gets... Uh, oh, I need 18 from, no, I only need... That's a 2, so I only need 12. So that's 11 from here. Plus one of these is 12. This guy gets hit. He can't retreat. I'm going to move the second guy in there. Uh, let's see. That's the 325, 325, 325. All right. This guy was disrupted. When was this guy disrupted? I think I forgot to take this off last time because we're on, we're on yellow's this turn and I just added the I just added I added the greens last turn and I know I didn't this guy didn't get hit this turn so I think I just forgot to take this off uh, so these guys let's see these guys are disrupted they'll lose their disruption and these are 125s where's my other 125s right here right here all right so we'll move let's move these guys in here to occupy that. I'm gonna move these guys up into here. I'm not sure what to do with these tanks yet. So let me think about this for a second. My officer, they already acted. Uh, this guy didn't act, but he's gonna to wanna to catch up to his buddies. Uh, that's one, two, where's the other two 25s? Oh, is that this guy? That's that guy. Okay. So they're all in line there. That's okay. All right. Tanks really kind of need to move along the road, I think. So we will move them up under here, under this hero, so that they're in place to barrage when necessary. All right. So this heavy weapons can move along. Uh, let's see, my 25 command post still reaches. Uh, this is a 24. 24 command post is what, under here? Yeah. That's one, two, three. Let's keep the 24s with their guys. Uh, heroes, they're gonna move. Well, hang on. Let me let me wait on these guys for just a minute. Let me just. Whoops. Dang it. <laughs> Good times. All right. Let me wait on those guys for now. Um, let me take care of. See about hitting this brown position. Uh, so that. Uh, I can figure out how far I can move these guys. 
because brown projects to here, purple projects to here. Uh, yeah, so let me just hit this. So, oh, oh, oh thank you for not flipping. Uh, we've got 11. I've got my heavy weapons here that can provide an additional 5. Um, that's going to be 16. I'll just I'll throw two points of artillery at them just in case, just to make 18. Uh, that should that'll more than triple it. Um, really, I don't need to because as long as I have the weapons, and it seems like artillery is never a requirement on the top guy, just on the depth. It seems like so. Yeah, let me just take the. Let me just take the 11 plus 5. Let me just take the 16 into here. That should be good. As long as this doesn't need flanking or close, close combat. Just needs bazooka, which I have. It's a 2. And it's not an elite. Um, so I've more than doubled. So depth is eliminated. It can retreat. But these guys are disrupted and they will be easy to take out next turn. Alright, so I used them. I used my heavy weapons. I really didn't need to use the heavy weapons, but I thought, well, why not? Okay, so those guys are taken care of. I got that. I need to move in this way. So let me take my 324s. One, two... Uh, coming here would be infiltration fire. Uh, I'm going to move this guy here, and it's forest, so we can only move one. These guys here, and the HQ, yeah, these guys will move here. These guys in their tanks. Oops. Um, I guess we roll along the road. So let me move them last. These two are together. So let's see. K23 can move in here. HQ with 323 will move in here. Um, I feel like these tanks are being wasted, but uh, it's heavy weapons 23. Let's see, where's these? My there's my 23rd command post. They're gonna need to pick up and move probably. Since I'm moving across this pretty quickly, these command posts really can't stay put for long enough to give me good command range. I mean, I'm I'm doing a good job at this stage in the game keeping the units with their with their battalion HQ so they can be in in command. Uh, but oh, uh, what to do with these guys? Uh, because these guys already went, so they're kind of clogging this up here. I could, I guess I move them along the uh, the airport here. All right, so, all right, hold on a sec. I got to check because there was a rule that I was missing. It might end up going here. Um, that, is this in, yeah, this is in black steady field of fire. Yikes. Black, this black is going to be activated. So, yeah, actually, I'm within three now. If I move this guy here like I had planned, I'm within three. So let me hold off on this guy for a second. <laughs> Just so I can stay more than three away from the black. I'm three away from this black. I got to double check because that was one of the things that I was missing uh, in the rules that I didn't discover until I was reviewing them again for decision. That uh, on movement, as soon, I think it's as soon as I get within... 
three. I'm gonna find the rule. I'll be back. Yeah, it's this rule right here, and I've been missing this. Uh, and I don't know how many times this would have come into play, but the first time a U.S. unit enters a field of fire of a Japanese position group, and that position group is unoccupied, you draw a card. So it's field of fire. It's not within three hexes. If that position group color is shown, Japanese unit from the reserve pool is immediately placed. Uh, if it's a black, uh, and the card shows it, this is this is new. This stuff that I wrote in right here is new off of the the new proposed uh, rule changes and updates from from Decision Games. If it's black, card shows uh, position color within two hexes. So that's where. All right. If I move this one here, and he is now within field of fire of this black position group. Um. It's if there's anything within two hexes, so it would be if I drew a brown, a blue, a green, or a purple, then this would get the reserve unit. I'm not... Uh, I, I'm, I'm not adverse to that. Um, although, now that I think about it, let me wait... Because again, I can game. I, I, I can. I can. Uh, you know, meta game this a little bit. If I use that last reserve marker, if I move in on some other position, all right. Let's let's say uh, I decide to do uh, two position movement here. I mean, that would put me in intense field of fire. So I probably don't want to do that. I could actually. Well, no, because if I move here, then it's going to be this one. Um, but let's just say, you know, I move in on a different color and I take that last reserve unit, then I can freely move here and not have to place a unit in this black. Um, that might help me if I can avoid that black being um, occupied. I'll just have to worry about the hilltop position as long as there's no reinforcements that happen there. So, yeah, let me think about that. Uh, I, yeah, I don't want to move that rifleman there. Um, hang on just a sec. So, um, I'm going to wait on that. Uh, let's go down here and let's go ahead and do this business here. We are going to attack this position. Our first black attack in the meat grinder. So I have available to me. Um, oh good, I have these guys available. Okay, so I've got, um, these guys have been hit, both of them. So I've got 6, 12, 15, 20, because those are halved. Now it depends on what sides are blocked off from that, but right now I have 15, or I have 20. Let me throw in, uh, I gotta remember what happens with the fort hit. Uh, fort, 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 fort. Again, it's been three weeks, sorry. Um, okay, forts are 17. Um, U.S. unit initially attacks an unrevealed fort. The obstructed hex sides may be such. Yeah. All right. Fort gains one unit in depth marker from the reserve pool if they are available. Okay. Well, there's only one fort there, so it's already got a unit. Uh, Black Hilltop Fort triples defense. Okay. So they'll be tripled. Uh, yeah. So I guess, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to reveal the fort. And it's going to reveal the top unit and then we see whether the depth takes a hit all right so I'm gonna throw some I'm, I'm throwing some artillery at this I'm gonna throw three points of fourth division artillery wait that's fifth division three points of fifth division artillery that's gonna be 20 or 23 uh, I'm gonna throw um, I'm going to throw three points of, or four points of core artillery. So that's going to be 27. And I'm going to throw an airstrike at it. 
So that's going to be 32. 32 points. Let's see what it does. And let me hope that at the very least, this isn't blocked off. And it is. Alright, so that severely reduces. At least I still have the attack from this side. Alright, so that severely reduces what I've got here. Um, now I have 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 5 airstrike is 15 total on this. Alright, so we reveal the unit which is going to be tripled and that is 9. It needs a flamethrower and a bazooka. Um, I don't think I have the baz I have the flamethrower but unfortunately because it's just the headquarters I don't have the bazooka crap because all these guys got blocked alright so I have so that reduces it but this is tripled so it is 9 strength against my 15 darn it alright 9 against my 15 is going to be a 3 to 2 I don't have one so I don't have one of the weapons because it's just my right bazookas uh, artillery is artillery mortar and demolitions yeah so bazookas will only come from the actual infantry bummer alright so that'll drop me to one to one Japanese marker and unrevealed depth is just flat out reveal and then recalculate if I can remain one to one they're going to be disrupted but chances are no so that's three that's five doubled is or tripled is fifteen oh okay so I'm one to one okay fifteen and I'm one to one because I've got fifteen strength that's good okay 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 uh, JD Japanese units disrupted all right that's that's all I needed that's all I needed was to disrupt them all right so now black will only be hitting me with four next turn all right so these guys are done these guys are disrupted but the NCO at the end of the turn will undisrupt them um, these guys were used all right okay we're in business uh, I need tanks in position. These are tanks here. I really I need to get these tanks in better position. So I'm going to move these guys here so that they are three away from that and can barrage. Next turn, they're also in black field of fire now. <laughs> Scary. Um, Alright, so what happens now? What happens now is these guys move in. It's one hex movement, so they don't take muff. These guys will move in. It's one hex movement, so they don't take muff. Uh, you know, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to risk it and move the tanks here. Because in steady field of fire, they won't take hits from the black position. But that will get me in position to eventually barrage all of those. Alright, uh, let's take this guy out. He needs browning and mortar. I have that from these guys. Uh, it's over bluff hex side, so my attack strength is halved, so I need 18. Uh, right? Because it's I need triple that and it's halved so that's 12 from there and then these two here can give me no yeah they're purple field of fire so they can give me half but over a bluff side half of half so that's going to be four points from there total plus what did I say? 12. Half of that is 6. So that's 10. Boom, boom. 
so this guy can die. He is in communication, so he will go back there. Uh, these guys got disrupted this turn. I can preservation move them, but I don't know that I'm going to. These guys become undisrupted. These are the guys that preservation moved before. Um, yeah, let me think about what. Okay, those guys moved. This guy still has an action. Uh, these guys will all become undisrupted. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Uh, what else do we have in 5th Division here? we got nothing. Okay, so we've done what we needed to do there. I'll hit this guy with this and this next turn. As long as, well, they're going to get hit. Crap, so I can't. So should I have moved those guys in? I don't know. I mean, I guess they're, they're cannon fodder. And they'll take, they'll take hits so that other guys won't. But... Yeah. I mean, I could close combat this one maybe with these guys. That wouldn't be wise, would it? Um, I mean, they would take Muff going in. Eh, you know what? Maybe they should be here instead. They would have moved here to here. And then maybe these guys move down to here to protect them. And then, I mean, it's weird because this is a fort with no units. So what happens if these guys don't get hit and they they attack this and there's no units under there. The fort itself, I think, is would alone would be three strength. I don't know. Uh, or, three, or two or one. But I can't reduce fortifications just from attacks. I gotta reduce them from barrage or from close combat. So I guess I gotta close combat that fort. And that fort would get, I don't know, I'll, f I'll figure it out. I think a fort gets an extra card. So if no units are there, it would get two cards. And then just every hit I get uh, reduces the fort strength. I don't want to do that now um, because I mean I would only get two cards and I might take muff I might take a muff hit so they wouldn't that you know they would just take an unnecessary hit. So Ooh, these guys are also in brown field of fire now, too. Uh, well, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I think we close in. I think that's the way to get to this guy, is to take this out, to take that out, to take these around it out, and then surround that. That's the only way to do it. Um, okay. So, now... Uh, movement. Oh, these guys, let's, let's have these guys attack this guy. Uh, radio and machine gun, I've got that. I need to triple it. Uh, and then, uh, his strength is doubled, so I need 18. So that's three. Well, that's 20 from here. And they've got, well, I'll go ahead and attack this since it's got a radio and machine guns. Uh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Maybe I want to cut this guy off before I attack him. Maybe I want to take that ploy. So I can barrage with these guys. And re-disrupt them. And then I can work on moving around them. With these guys. It'll take a couple of turns though. Yeesh. Yeah, okay. Let me do that. Let me barrage. So I need to... 
Uh, from here I need a triangle. I'm just using one so that if I mess with it I can get the other one. I need a triangle or a um, a triangle or a yellow. I got a yellow, I got a diamond. That's enough. It's a disruption. Um, oh, that's my disruption. Do I have any Japanese disruption markers over here? No, I don't. I gotta go back around my camera. Grab a disruption marker and put it here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll take a couple of turns because I can't really, I can't move into here because then I'm with this guy. I gotta take this guy separately. So, uh, I need to get someone here so that I control that and that. It's gonna take me two turns to do that. Actually, this guy's on a road. Hold up. There's a road that goes through here. So these guys can take the road. One, two. And then we're good. Uh, we'll take the headquarters here and move them down here as well. Uh, heavy weapons. He'll stay there uh, so he can control that so we don't have any backfilling of, of unit, Japanese units. All right, and then these guys will just remain in position. Um, he's going to go ahead and move up with his commander. Uh, the 327s. Uh, I mean, do they need the support up here? Or do they need to keep moving along here? I mean, uh, 28s over here. They're way far away from their dudes, so really the, the heavy weapons can't do anything right now anyway. Which, technically, maybe they couldn't have to begin with? I don't know. <laughs> I the, the command rules are still... Sometimes I get them and sometimes I don't even think about them, let's be real. Um, to me, as long as the infantry units are with their headquarters, I'm good with that. The rest of them uh, are you know, kind of in command. Uh, so wait a minute, could they have barraged? Where's my 28? Uh, that's a two. How did they end up way back there? I don't know. I don't know that I could have barraged. Let me look. Okay, so that's something I haven't noticed. Is that the tanks have to be, in order to be in command of a battalion, they have to be stacked with that, the units of that battalion. So, it's something to <laughs> uh, consider. So let's, let's have done this. Just to, just to you know, take it out of whack. Let me have moved these guys up into here and then these guys barraged. Uh, I know that that's something I haven't been doing. I guess I have to make sure that tanks are stacked so that they can be in command of battalions. Move that engineer over to here. So, okay, well, going forward, Let's do that. Command is something, I mean, I, you know, I get it, but it's just, you know, it's like doing math. It's like doing algebra, you know, <laughs> long, long math problems to figure out, all right, is this guy in command of that guy, which is in command of that guy, and can that guy do this because he's in command of the HQ, but he's not in command of this, but he is in command of the, the battalion, but the battalion can spread out an extra three if the battalion HQ is in command of the, uh, there's a lot to it. I, I mean, you know, I don't think there's, that's the way it's done. Uh, but there's, there's a, definitely a lot to it. So with that said, let me, let me rethink. I want to make sure that tanks are with units then, right? That's the bottom line. I got to make sure tanks are with units. So this guy being here doesn't do me any good because they can't be commanded to barrage. 
these guys over here, where did they go? Oh, my tanks over here that are underneath this HQ, they're good to go because they're with an HQ. They're stacked. So, making barrage. Got radios and all that good stuff. So these guys here and these guys here aren't doing me any good, I guess, unless they're stacked. So, uh, let me move this tank with these units here. And then these tanks have got, I mean, I don't want them in steady, in intense field of fire though. That's the problem. So, let me move these guys over here. Oop, my daughter's calling me. Hello? Alright, so where was I? Uh, so, yeah, I, I metagamed that so that they could disrupt that. Um, I think I had one grouping of tanks that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with. Oh, it was... Yeah, I moved these guys into here. I think that's... Or I moved these guys over to here instead of something else. Uh, yeah, I think that works. I don't know. Now I'm looking at this going, wait, did I stop in the middle of what I was doing and was I figuring it out and didn't do it right? I don't know. But I'll keep it the way it is. Okay, so... Let's see, these guys over here, I got, okay, A127s, they're going to want to be over here, this guy is with them, this guy is with them, where's their commander, where's their HQ, where's the 127 HQ, there he is, underneath him. Okay, all right, so they're all together. Uh, these guys are hurting. Uh, I got my 128s here. Uh, do I move those in? Oh, these guys already, these guys were disrupted and became undisrupted. These guys are not doing anything currently. So they're gonna, they're gonna stick there and follow these guys in, I guess. Okay. Um, oh, I'm going to come over here and I got my 124s and my 124s with tanks on top of my command post. So where do these guys go? I guess they move along the road because I got a good line here, I got a good line here. Let me just move these guys along the road here. Whoa. Okay. Um, where's my 23 and my 24 both have three command. These guys have two. No, these guys have more. It's 25. can't see how far out 25 commands. What stack are they in over here? Uh, oops, 27, 20, oh, 23, 24, and 25 are all in the same command post stack. I dropped them all at the same time. So they're all reaching out three. So they're on the verge. I mean, I suppose I'm, if I move them now, they can reestablish in the PM phase, so yeah, let me do that. Let me move these guys along the road here. We'll put them on top of here. We'll move these guys along the road here. Put them on top of there. Although, hang on, they don't need to move along the road. They'll move over here into this position. And then my 25, um, my 23s are all in this vicinity. Let's move them. Let's move this one. Is this within Field of Fire Brown? Yeah, so I don't want to move them there. So I guess right here? Is that good? Yeah, sure. Okay, 
Uh, and then, yeah, I think it's time to move this one off. One, two, three. If I put 27 right there. Uh, 28. I don't want to move 28 into Field of Fire. So that's kind of probably why they're still where they are. Uh, 26 is back here. They can move in. One, two. Oh, that they don't want to be in Black Field of Fire. So maybe if they move here and then flip, that'll be good. Uh, maybe here. We'll move here. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I got to make sure these guys all stay together. Otherwise, these guys won't be in communication because they're way out of range of 28. Um, yeah, all right. So there we go. That, that should do it for my turn. I've moved, <laughs> have I moved all of my headquarters? I think I have. 26 was projecting out four. But I think they've already moved far enough. Okay, so yeah, all of my headquarters I moved except for 28. Oh, hold on. So 28 was four. These guys were off. No, 28 was at two. How is 28 at two and they're way back here? I don't know. Oh, I think it's... Well, I don't know. Uh, sorry, I'm having internal monologue on a video, which is not good for the video itself. My bad. Alright, so... Just trying to figure out all of my HQs I need to pull off. Uh, so the only one I didn't move was 28, because that would move into Field of Fire, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, although they could go 1, 2, 3. They could move here. Would that be good for business? I got 26 is up there. I got some 28s there, some 28s there. Yeah, sure. What the heck? Let me just go ahead and have gone one, two, three. Move my 28 right there. So all of them are off. So all my command posts are on the move. So my command range is going to be down to two next turn. But that's okay. All right. So that's my action phase. Uh, I didn't. Did I hit any artillery? I don't think I hit any artillery. Did I? Uh, the position up here was not artillery. Uh, this guy is not artillery and I didn't take him out anyway. This guy had disrupted. So, uh, yeah. So, artillery is still the same. So, uh, starting with sector 3, uh, which we have 5, uh, 6, 7, right? So, or 8. I mean, 8 divided by 3, I guess rounded up, is, yeah, so I got 8 in sector 3, so it's 7, so I take 1 artillery pop, so I'll disrupt 2 instead of taking the hit, um... Yeah, I guess these guys are hanging back. So I'll disrupt them, uh, and then uh, for sector I've got five points, nine, so rounding up, that's one, and again, I mean I can keep disrupting these guys, they're kind of hanging out in the wind there, but they're not doing any, I mean they're not moving in, they're not doing anybody any good, so maybe I disrupt someone else. Um, Just so that they can get closer this turn. Uh, sure. Let's disrupt these guys. Since they're in the back. Okay. Is it green? Is that? No, it's not green. It's yellow. So yellow there. And yellow there. Okay. Uh, so that's artillery and then raids. I still don't have anybody hanging, uh, so I'm good with raids. Okay, so there we go. 
There's turn 41.